Good morning. Coming up this morning on DC News Now, the second shooting on a Maryland campus in just one week, renewing questions about school safety. What leaders are doing to keep students safe, plus Israel declaring war with Hamas after a deadly surprise attack. How locals and leaders are responding. Jackie, good morning. Good morning. We're tracking a colorful sky out there this morning as we're approaching sunrise, but don't let the clear sunny skies fool you. We are off to a chilly start out there this morning. Uh, more details, what you can expect for the rest of your Monday. Coming up. And also coming up this morning, rising dining costs, making it harder for families to dine out without breaking the bank. We'll stretch your dollar this morning with ways to cut costs when going out to eat. Covering all of the DMV, this is DC News Now. All right, good morning. Look at that. So pretty out there. It's 7 o'clock on a Monday morning, starting off with a live look outside. It is pretty out there, but it is cold. Yes, yeah. but good morning. <laughs> I'm Tania Wright. Yeah, good morning to you. I'm Corey James. Shanika will have more on the roads for you in a moment. But first, Jackie, talking about uh, the weather. It is beautiful, that sunrise there, yeah. but it also is pretty cold. For yes, folks. yeah. Like I said, don't let it fool you of how nice it looks out there. It's quite cold <laughs> as you're stepping out. We're noticing temperatures in D.C. coming in at 47 degrees. We're also out for 40s over towards Annapolis and Lexington Park. But some of the colder spots, we're seeing that over towards LeRae, still holding you to the upper 30s there. We did just jump up to 40 not too long ago in Manassas. We're now to the low 40s in Waldorf after starting off to the upper 30s as well. Mid 40s currently in Hagerstown. You're also 46 degrees right now in Fredericksburg. And we're seeing the winds coming in mainly on the south and west. We're talking 5 to 10 miles per hour. So a light breeze that could also make it feel a little bit cooler. We're also watching that cold front farther off towards our north and west out ahead of that low. We also have a few rain showers. We'll be watching for a few of those to slide in later on today. Again, these will be isolated. Not everyone will be seeing those showers. But again, we do have that chance. But not only are we tracking a few showers, we'll also be tracking increasing cloud cover alongside that threat for a few showers later on today. More details on this coming up as Shanique is back with the all-important look at those roadways. How's it looking at this early hour? All right, it's looking kind of slow, Jackie. We're looking at the inner loop and you're seeing a lot of brake lights out of Northern Virginia. So just past the Springfield interchange and right before Braddock Road is where you're going to find a crash. So that's why you're seeing traffic stacking at this point. On the outer loop, you are looking good. So heading south, if you are in the same area through Annandale, you're looking good from Maryland over your bridges. So the American Legion Bridge, the Woodrow Wilson Bridge, things are looking pretty smooth. All right, homecoming weekend for Bowie State took a violent turn when someone opened fire shooting two people on campus. Our Liberty Zabala is live at the campus this morning with what the school is doing to keep students safe. Liberty, good morning. Good morning, Tanaya and Corey. Well, Bowie State has now canceled classes for today after yet another shooting in the DMV terrifies students during homecoming week, which should have been a time of celebration. But instead, shots rang out once again on a local DMV college campus. Officers say the shooting happened outside of the Center for Business and Graduate Studies at around 1130 p.m. here Saturday night. Two 19 year olds were hit. Officers say they were are not students and police are still searching for the gunman in this shooting. And just last week, five people were hurt at Morgan State University in Baltimore at another shooting during homecoming weekend. Both universities are historically black colleges and universities, and now Randallstown NAACP says there should have been double the amount of officers on site during this shooting. It is calling on Maryland State Police to execute security and protection plans for students at major events going forward. You need to be safe at the university. Everybody needs to feel safe coming here and leaving here. And I don't think nobody felt safe coming or leaving. And now the university is offering counseling for students who need it for today. They're also holding a community conversation here later this afternoon at the Student Center Ballroom, and that will also be available online. For now, live here in Bowie, Liberty Zabala, DC News Now. Thank you, Liberty. Well, starting today, St. Mary's College will have armed security officers on campus. The school says this is the next step in a months long process to upgrade the campus safety. Now the new campus safety model was introduced back in August. Public safety officers are trained in first aid, CPR, crisis intervention and proper use of force. Other than bringing in the armed officers, the plan includes installing security cameras, fixing door locks and giving officers body cameras. This morning, you 
Workers at Mack Trucks are planning to strike after voting no to a tentative five-year contract. This is a live picture from the Mack Truck plant in Hagerstown, Maryland. The deal included a 19% pay increase over five years with an immediate 10% raise if the union agreed to it. In a letter to Volvo Trucks, the union president says they want a 36% pay increase over four years. Thousands of workers are expected to strike around 7 a.m. this morning. And starting today, Montgomery County's Department of Health and Human Services is providing sexual health services at its new Upcounty Sexual Health and Wellness Center in Germantown. The services include free HIV testing regardless of age or where you live in Maryland, free STI testing for anyone 26 or under, and anyone above that age range will have to pay. Also starting today, full STI testing and treatment and HIV testing will be available from 830 a.m. until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And this also will last Monday through Friday by appointment. And happening today, some school districts, offices, and local governments are observing Indigenous Peoples Day. Now in D.C., the mayor's office says some services will be affected, but many essential employees will be working. This includes all low barrier shelters for homeless people. The Downtown Day Service Center is also offering walk-ins on a first-come, first-served basis. Parks, playgrounds, and other athletic courts will be open. Metro Rail Service will operate on a weekend schedule today. Metro Bus will run on a Saturday supplemented service schedule. In international news this morning, Israel says it is at war after a surprise attack by Hamas, a Palestinian nationalist organization. The fiery attack happened Saturday. Israel is now bringing in special forces to retaliate and regain control. Now at least 700 people have been killed in Israel and at least 400 were killed in Gaza. This all according to the Associated Press. Tens of thousands of people have also been displaced. And U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says several Americans have also been killed in Israel. He says the U.S. is working to confirm the number. Another U.S. security official says they continue to monitor the situation closely and remain in touch with Israeli partners. Meantime, eyes are on Washington. The Department of Defense says the U.S. will send military ships and aircraft closer to Israel to show support. And at the local level, D.C. police are sending more officers to places of worship around the city. While the department says there are no credible threats, threats in the district right now, the city is staying in contact with community partners as the tensions rise. As Israel declares war after the Hamas attacks, many are feeling concerned and scared. Dozens of Israelis were killed when militants crossed into villages. Now Israeli forces have retaliated. We spoke with people in the DMV about the attacks. You've got to imagine what would happen in this country if thousands of people were killed on a given day by infiltrating terrorists and what any country in the world would do to protect its citizens. We're angry and uh, it's just intolerable, completely intolerable. Israel launched strikes into the Gaza Strip where more than 200 Palestinians also died. Now President Biden has offered his full support to Israel. And hundreds of people rallied outside the White House yesterday, some with signs calling for aid to Israel to stop. Now this is an ongoing call from Palestinians who say Israel is trying to expand into what once was Palestinian territory. One local activist condemns the Hamas killings. The loss of innocent life is devastating. Nobody wants to, nobody of, of conscience wants to see innocent people die on either side. And the, but the fact is that we need to have conversations about what justice looks like, what true justice looks like in order for there to be lasting peace. And some activists and local elected officials are hoping for a two state solution. The time right now is 708 on a Monday developing. Now police are investigating a domestic related shooting that happened in Olney. Montgomery County police say a man shot and killed his father. Officials say this happened on Mount Olney Lane on Saturday night. Police say Nicholas Stoll allegedly shot his father, Michael Stoll, inside of their home. Nicholas facing several charges this morning, including first degree murder. Prince George's County police say a man is dead after a shooting on Red Top Road in Chillum. Officials say it happened around 815 last night. According to investigators, the man died at the scene. His name has not been released. Anyone, though, with any information about what happened is asked to contact police. And a 14 and 15 year old have been arrested and charged with armed carjacking in D.C. Police say it happened on 42nd Street Friday. 
Officers tell us the teens had handguns. The suspects were caught a short time later. The victim's vehicle was also recovered. And D.C. police are investigating a mass shooting that left five people hurt in Northeast Friday night. Officials say it happened around 1130 on Quincy Place. Now four men were taken to nearby hospitals. Officers say a fifth man took himself. So far, no word on a suspect. And MGM Resorts is expected to lose more than $100 million following a major cyber attack that happened last month. Now, this could be the most expensive ransomware attack ever. The attack impacted reservation systems and casino floors in several states, including Maryland. Customers were not able to make credit card transactions or even enter their hotel rooms. According to MGM CEO, no customer bank account numbers or other payment information was compromised, but... Other information like names, social security numbers, and contact information was. All right, well, Fire Prevention Week happening now in Fairfax County. This year's theme is Cooking Safety Starts With You. On Saturday, the county will host a fire safety open house. It will be held at all Fairfax County fire and rescue stations. It is happening between 10 a.m. and it lasts until 4 p.m.